15. Green flag is in the air, and Ray Bliss will lead us to green. As this fuel work. Hummer in down to turns one and two. Adam Hilton to the inside. And he'll get by Schweigart for a second and try and work on Ray Bliss. And now Vigneri, he's going to work the outside of the track as he's back there in fifth. He hasn't had much work to do in that Ray Smith owned machine. But if he's going to win tonight, he's going to have to work for it. Ray Bliss out front, Adam Hilton looking to charge. And looks like Colby Adams that gets really high into one and two, and he'll power on down in front of Boyd McTavish. And now Adam Hilton's gonna look to get to the inside of Ray Bliss, and he'll back it down, but Bliss is gonna push up the track, and Adam Hilton's gonna try and get by. They're gonna go side by side. Into turns number three and four, Hilton on the bottom, Bliss up top. Hillen will pull in front with a slide job on Bliss. He'll take it. Bliss will do a crossover back into turn one and two. Slide job from Ray Bliss. They're exchanging slide jobs here at Freedom Motorsports Park. Hilton, he'll go back in front into three and four. And now Bliss is going to have to get on the binders, and that's going to allow Hilton to get on by. Adam Hilton to the point. Phil McNary now. He gets almost into the side of Schmorgart, and he'll save it. As the top four are starting to pull away. And he'll figure working that high side. Brandon Mashad trying to get underneath. Dave DePetro also there looking for someone to make a mistake. Up front not missing much. Adam Hill and slowly pulling away. But the one to watch is going to be the 12V of Phil Vigneri, the third. As he's going to work on George Schweigart. These cars now all over Freedom Motorsports Park. And Phil Vigneri has himself in third. He's going to go to the extreme high side this time. It's going to be the 12 V of Phil Vigneri. He's going to try and get a run and make a move on Ray Bliss. Halfway this time. And Bliss, he's a struggling in three and four as he'll develop a push, and that's going to allow PB3 to get to the inside. McNeary to the inside. He's going to bump up just a little bit. Going to get on the binders and stay out of Bliss, and he'll do so. Bliss going to go to the high side. McNeary to the bottom. Going to try and complete the pass again as he's going to be McNeary at the line. McNeary again. He'll slide up in front of Bliss. He'll take over second and see if he can run down the 3A of Adam Hilton. But Hilton... All while Bliss and Vigneri were battling it out, was able to extend that race lead. As the race on the track is back here for seventh between Hilfiger and Bansmer. Bansmer is going to look to the inside of the 78. And he will pull back in line. And Adam Hilton's going to come up on lap traffic here very shortly in the first car, being the 41T of Tony Pangrazio. And Hilton into turns one and two, right above that bump there, one and two, and they'll get a good run down the back stretch. As you can see, most of these sportsman drivers trying to go to the extreme bottom or the outside. And try and make their move. As now you can see, Brandon Mashaw is going to work on George Schwargart for tw in the 12 car. And that's a battle for fourth. And the popsicle steps are in the air. Two laps to go for Adam Hilton. 
Bill McNary, you can see, is catching Hilton, but just not catching him quick enough. One lap to go for the new Fane New York driver. Hilton takes the white flag into one and two. He'll run that high side, get a run down the back stretch into three and four for the final time. Adam Hilton hits his mark, slider after slider, picks up the win here at Freedom Motorsports Park. Second's gonna be McNeary, third's gonna be Bliss, fourth is Mashad, and Schwartner will be fifth. He's getting out of the car. Let him hear you, Freedom. Go ahead and give it a hand to Adam Hilton. Adam, the end of the race seemed to be easy, but talk about what we all saw here was those slide job being exchanged between you and Ray Bliss and how much fun that should have been. Oh, that was a riot. Uh, it's good to be back at Freedom. Thanks to Cody, Rachel, Bob, keeping this going, man. It's uh, it's close to home. It's nice to be able to race local. Uh, it's nice to be back here. It's been a few years. I think the last time I raced here was 2018, and it was in a big block, small block uh, class. So this is a lot different to race out here now. Talk about what this means for you. You've had a trying time this year, a lot of good finishes but not many get up here on this first place stage and talking to us here weekly. What's it mean to come here tonight, pick up this $1,000 check? Well, uh, Phil and I, we, we go at it every week at Genesee and uh, it's always good to get one up on him. Um, but obviously uh, having my family here is the most important. Olivia's getting her picture taken right now. So, um, but no, it means a lot, especially, you know, when, when we don't get out here that often, for these special shows you get a couple outsiders coming in and you know people you don't really race against that much so it's cool to, cool to be back in victory lane though who do you want to thank on this right who got you here got to thank my dad and most importantly amber she keeps me going she keeps the family running while i'm out in the garage every night pretty much um obviously bob cody and and rachel for putting on the show um <laughs> robin for helping out Roar Logistics and Copeland Technology Solutions. Awesome job. Your feature winner here tonight, the 3A of Adam Hilton.